welcome to Nick Does Food and Drinks. Today we'll be taking a look at the Tex-Mex options everybody loves. Tacos and a simplified nacho. Stay tuned and I'll show you how it's done. Today we're going to take a look at some simple tacos you can make right at home and a delicious tortilla chip based appetizer. So to start with, I'm going to make some pico de gallo. However, the bad thing with all the shortages right now, I couldn't find any cilantro and I couldn't find any jalapenos. So I'm just gonna make it with tomato and onion, lime juice, and that little bit of salt. Let me get to work. I think I'm gonna use half an onion to start with on this and maybe use the other half for the ground beef I'm gonna put together. Hopefully you watched my video on how to cut an onion without tears, because that's what I'll be doing today. That should be right around enough onion. And look how simple and easy it was to chop it up and still no tears. Next, we're gonna start here with our tomato. I'm using two Roma tomatoes because that's about all they had in stock at the grocery today. You gotta always remember to save a bite for the chef. Hmm. And since the store was limited, I'm gonna go ahead and just make pico with these two ingredients. I'm gonna add a few extra things and just a jiff. I'm gonna go ahead and get my tomatoes right into the bowl. And to the uh, onions and tomatoes, I'm gonna add the juice of one lime. So I'm gonna give that thing a beautiful little roll. Quick chop, then we squeeze. And if you have a bigger lime, be sure just to use half. I know the limes I can get are really tiny right now. All right, I'm gonna simply give this a quick mix by hand here. There's an even distribution of tomato and onion. That should be pretty good. And then I'm just gonna simply salt the taste. The salt is perfect. I think this is good to go. Now it's time to get the work on our ground beef. All right, to start with on our uh, Tex-Mex inspired ground beef, I'm gonna throw up just a little bit of uh, oil in to the pan. Now go ahead and use your oil of choice, whether it's vegetable, olive, canola, or anything else. It's gonna work just great for this. That in there, let me get that onto, a, onto heat there. I'm gonna put that about on the medium heat. I'm gonna start warming up a little. And I'm gonna go ahead and add the other half of my onion right to the pan. I'm gonna let that saute until they become translucent. It all depends on the amount of onion you have and the heat that you're cooking it at. So usually I'll let it go here for about two minutes. And as you can see, they're starting to get nice and translucent for us. So right now, I'm gonna throw one clove of garlic into the mix. Now be sure to dice it down pretty small. And toss that right in there. Then I'll let it go here for say another 30 seconds or so, or until the garlic becomes fragrant. Now it's starting to smell absolutely delicious. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my ground beef. I'm going with just right around a pound today. I'm gonna go ahead and just get that thrown right in there. Listen to that sizzle, it sounds absolutely delectable. And while it's going here, we're gonna keep it mixed up and help break down the ground beef as it cooks. After we let this brown up for a little bit, we're gonna add some spices to take your taste buds up to the next level when you're enjoying this delicious Tex-Mex ground beef. Now that our ground beef has browned up a little, time to get this spiced. First, I'm gonna start with some chili powder. And I'm gonna throw a few dashes in there. We'll make it five today. How about six? I'm gonna add just one dash of paprika. Then I'm also gonna add a couple dashes of marjoram. And marjoram 
is a similar flavor to oregano, but I seem to prefer it a little bit. Now to really make this taste Tex-Mex, we're gonna add some ground cumin. So we've got a little bit there. Should be just about perfect. And I'm gonna give it a mix. If only you were in the kitchen right now, smelling this. And towards uh, the end of the cooking process here on the beef, I'm also gonna add some salt. And some freshly ground black pepper. Now I know none of these seasonings are written in stone. Use any amount that you would like. It all comes down to what you like because you are cooking for yourself. Now look at that, our ground beef is absolutely ready to go there. So let's go start assembling a few of the uh, Tex-Mex dishes that we're gonna put together. Now to start with, we're gonna put together our tortilla chip appetizer. It's almost like an individually loaded nacho and they are out of this world. So to start with, you're going a scoop style of tortilla chips, something that can hold all the fillings we're gonna put in there. And we're gonna arrange these here on our baking sheet. That right there should be perfect. Now to start with on these, I'm gonna take a little bit of that delicious ground beef we made up and deposit it into the center of each chip, just like so. I'm glad you bared with me while I got all these chips filled up. Now we're gonna add our second ingredient to them. We're gonna add some delicious cheese. Now you can use any cheese that you want on this. Personally, I like queso fresco. Uh, that flavor really hits the spot for me. So go ahead and take your cheese and you're gonna deposit a little bit into each chip. Now you can add as uh, little or as much cheese as you want because the kitchen is your laboratory and you're Walter White. Now that I got the uh, chips filled up with the beef and cheese, I'm gonna go ahead and pop them into the oven. I've got my oven set to 250 degrees and I'm gonna let it go in there for just a few minutes just to allow the cheese to melt. Now while our chips are in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and start assembling a few tacos here for us for the main course. I'm gonna start with on our taco. I'm gonna throw a layer of ground beef in there. Then I'm gonna crumble a layer of that same queso fresco we're using in our appetizer right on top. Then I'm gonna spoon some of that basic pico we made right on top. Still bummed out over the lack of jalapenos and cilantro at the store. Then I am gonna add a little salsa verde to this as well. Now you can't tell me this doesn't look absolutely delectable. Take a peek everybody. Now I am missing one thing, the lime and the appetizer, actually two things. I can barely think during this quarantine and let them know what day it is. I'll be right back. Now we've got that looking absolutely scrumptious. Let's check out those chips. Take a peek at that. Can't tell me that doesn't look absolutely wonderful, but let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Now is there anything more comforting than a homemade taco? I don't think so. Now let's go ahead and see how these miniature nachos came out. Mm. Absolutely out of this world. Be sure to give these dishes a try at home. And don't be afraid to give this video a like. Drop me a comment down below. And please subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on my latest content. Once again, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you on the next cooking adventure.